Hello, this is Reed Livingston, producer for Falling Skies, the game. Today we're going to talk about some of the different classes and abilities. The first one we have up here is the Berserker. Now these guys are built for damage. Their capacity for high-powered machine guns and all things explosive make them a deadly force on the front lines. These guys are the only ones that can wield the high-powered explosive weapons such as the RPGs. Best guys to have on the front lines. Uh, they have the highest damage output. So as you can see here, very robust skill tree. We're going to actually go out into the play field and I'm going to show you a couple of those. Uh, let's see, so the first one that I'm going to show you is something called Annihilation. And Annihilation is explosive weapon attack dealing 200% damage and an extra 50% fallout damage over two turns. There it is. Still not enough to take down a mech on the first try. Next one, of course, the good old Molotov Cocktail. An explosive device that sets fire to the target, causing them to burn for two turns. So even with that, it didn't take the mech down. Alright, so the next one is the fighter. Fighters are strong combat units that have a focus on protecting those around them and working together as a team. Their special ability is cover area, which automatically attacks enemy units that move within the fighter's range during the enemy movement phase. These guys are the all-around workhorse of the squad with solid damage, defense, and movement range. Once again, a very robust skill tree. Let's go out onto the playfield and see a couple of these abilities in action. Rock and roll. So the first one you're going to see here is called Warning Shout. A battle cry which increases the defenses of all units in range by 10%. Heads up. There you go, a little icon. Second one here is something called Point Man. And what that allows is the fighter can actually attack or defend after sprinting. And when you sprint out to that thing, that's the end of your turn normally. But uh, this guy can go out and get a, a shot off here. All right, the next uh, characters we're going to talk about here are the Scout. Scout is a unique and it's the only class that can equip sniper rifles. Uh, their movement distance is second to none. Keep these guys at the rear and keep them facing forward and shoot at anything that moves. We're going through the skill tree here and as you can see very robust and we're going to go ahead and see a couple of things on the play field. So the first one we see is the flare ability and uh, it, that basically lights up the target area. This Enemies in the turn will have an extra 10% to be hit for one okay. chance. Always good when you're dealing with that, uh, that fog of war. We're going to jump right into uh, my favorite character, which is the Spiked Kid. Uh, the Spiked Kid can uh, heal the wounded squad members during a mission. They can also throw useful gra grenades such as smoke bombs and EMPs. Um, they got uh, quite a diverse skill tree, and it's always great to try to figure out, um, you know, the best one on the play field. We're going to go ahead and show one of my favorite in game, and um, that is called the leap ability. And as you can see, they're able to leap huge coming? distances and jump over there and uh, use the knife attack. That's one of my favorite there. And that's, that's about it for some of the character classes and their abilities. Thanks for watching.